Coogan Cassius here uh, for the Cassius and Hilda Show exclusive here on Box Nation. Today we're at the Everton Red Triangle Amateur Boxing Club to catch up with some of the boys here. With me, I've got European Commonwealth flyweight champion Kevin Satchel. How are you? I'm fine. You? Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm very good. Sorry to disrupt you from your training session, but we thought we'd uh, just grab you in between things. Uh, how's things going up leading up to March the 6th? It's good. Our training's gone perfect up to now. All my runs, Evan Sands and you know, a lot of training. It's gone into it up to now. They've been doing a lot of crossfit as well. Now you're facing uh, Luke Wilton uh, f from Belfast, someone you know very well. Yeah, I've uh, I fought him in 2013. He, uh, he gave me a really tough fight back then. Um, I think I won't convince him, but he, it was a really hard fight, one of my hardest fights I've had. Have you kept tabs on Wilton's pro progression since his fight with you? Obviously, he had a, a disappointing night against Lee Haskins, didn't he, recently? Not recently, but you know. Yeah, um, I'm I'm all right with Luke. I went over to the uh, same with him uh, about a year back, um, and then I follow his career as it is anyway. He, uh, yeah, he had a he had a bad night against Askins, but he did jump up two weights, and it was last minute. Also, um, he uh, but he did get a good win over Callum Diat, which was uh, which I was impressed with. Um, huge show. March the 6th, Mersey boys. Obviously, there's two huge world title fights as well uh, involving Derry Matthews and uh, and Paul Butler. So, in general, it's a massive night for British boxing and for Liverpool boxing as well. Yeah, um, it's another great night. Um, we, the last one we had was a brilliant night. Um, you know, we had the European, unfortunately, Butler's fight fell off, so there was no world title. But it's a, it's a big night of boxing. I'm looking forward to it. What Luke Wilton are you expecting? Are you expecting a similar kind of fight to the first one you had with him? Yeah, definitely, because um, I know I know from how the fight went the first time, and um, plus me going over and saying with him, he, he he really does work hard, and I know he, he'll bring he'll fight he'll fight to -to -to me for twelve rounds. Um, I'm sure he'll he'll uh, he'll be watching all of my old tapes, and he'll pick up some flaws in my uh, in my performances. So you know, I'm I'm going to be ready for anything. You captured the European title to add to your already existing Commonwealth title um, in your last fight. So um, you've achieved so much uh, in not, not too many fights. No, no, it's only only in thirteen fights. I think I've had um, half of them with you know only six rounders, four rounders, and then the rest of them being title fights. I've uh, stepped up quite quick. Not not really many people at my weight, uh, so you get the chances quick. I've always wondered, obviously. Your division is one of the divisions that doesn't always shine in the limelight because of just the weight class it is. That's been how it has been over the years. But um, what's that like to be, I mean, you're European and Commonwealth champion, but might not get the same recognition of someone in high weight categories? I, know, I think it's just that uh, the fans, they want to see knockouts and you get very little of them at our weights, down our weights. Our weights more um, fast work, a lot, lot of punches landed, but, you know, people want to see you know, people going over and getting hurt. So I think that's that's the thing. It's it's a bit frustrating sometimes. So we put in just as much, if not more, hard work than the heavyweights. But um, just can't get that recognition. Just gotta keep trying. How easily or not easily do you make flyweight? It's pretty easy. Everyone. So I've I've always got this question. Most the uh, pretty much every interview, um, people think because of my height I struggle. It is. It, you know, it's not it's not a struggle where I think I need to start stepping up. I'm comfortable making it. Um, even though I'm getting on a bit. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy to make it every time. I find new ways of, of uh, getting the weight down. So it's it's pretty easy. Liverpool's highly regarded as uh, one of, if not the best best city uh, in in the UK for boxing. What is it about boxing from Liverpool? Is there's just so much going on. There's people all different levels. People fighting for world titles. Paul Smith's fighting for a world title in Germany next uh, next month, and also. Obviously, Derry and Paul Butler, but there is something about the boxing in Liverpool that uh, brings it all together. Yeah, there is. Uh, I think at every single weight, there's a, there's, a, there's a great boxer. You can name a few, probably every weight from Liverpool. It's just uh, we have a lot of pride. We like, you know what I mean? We see how well the other boxers are doing from around the city, and we want to just uh, you know, follow in their footsteps as well. So it's just, I think it's just a pride thing. Scouts are too proud. Do all the boxers get on with each other in Liverpool? Yeah, I yeah. As far as I know, I well, I know I and all my all, all lads imagine we got on with everyone. I you know I speak to most of the boxers. And it, you know, yeah. I can't, I can't think of anyone who doesn't get along with another, you know, another Scotia. Yeah, we've all been to the same competitions together. You know, through through the uh, the amateur career. 
Talk to me a little bit about this, Jim. Um, how long have you been here? Um, I think I'm the longest. Yeah, I'm the longest serving member at this gym. At the minute, I've been here um, 13, 13 and a half years now. I've been a part of this gym. Coming, here, coming to this gym when I was twelve, and uh, I've, I've never been to any other gym. Uh, it's just you know, Paul and me, they're like family to me. They've, uh, they've, they've looked after me my whole life, and you know, it's a great, it's a great gym. Obviously, we're at the start of 2015 now, so uh, your manager Neil Marsh and yourself. What do you what do you see yourself doing towards the back end of this year? What's what's the plans? What's the goals for this year? It's a, you know it's got to be a world title. Yeah. Got got all three the belts coming up: British, Commonwealth, and European. Just got to uh, you know put, defend the European maybe and um, work on a few little mistakes that I'm making. Then definitely one of the world title shots before the end of the year. Are you aware of the? The world champions at flyweight because I'm going to be honest, I'm not. No, well, um, I went until until I won that European. I don't really look beyond me, uh, me next opponent. But yeah, there's a few, you know, Estrada, Rivejo. There's a few good kids. Um, so yeah, I've been looking at them. I haven't actually studied them or watched them yet. Though I've just I've just had their names in the back of my head, and you know, as soon as I get the green light or whatever to fun that I'm fighting them, then I'll start studying them and watching them. I got a little cousin about your weight. Yeah. Uh, no, six. But he's about your size. If you want sparring or if you just want to have a fight with him, he's up for it. Well, I've got a six year old son who gives me enough trouble at home, so I don't think I need your little cousin to come. I'd look, can you imagine me being your weight? Like, could you imagine I'd look weird, no, wouldn't I? No. Definitely not, not alive, anyway. <laughs> All right, well, listen, Kevin, um, we'll hopefully catch up with you uh, into the lead-up to the March the 6th show in Liverpool. It's a cracking card. Like I said, it could be a wonderful night uh, for British boxing and also in Liverpool. So let's hope everyone keeps their belts and wins new ones. Definitely. We will. Thanks a lot. Nice one. Thank you. This is Coogan Cassius with uh, Kevin Satchel. Thank you very much. Go on, mate. You're all right. Thank you.